Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can deploy and configure vRealize Operations Manager 7.0 in a vSphere environment. This is a two-part video. In the first part, I am going to deploy vrops and in the second part, I'll be configuring vrops. In this demo, I'm not going to cover the prerequisites and requirements for deploying vRealize Operations Manager vApp because I'm going to simply deploy a standalone master node. So if you want to know more about prerequisites and requirements, I highly suggest to read the deployment guide from VMware. It covers some of the prerequisites and requirements such as networking requirement, system requirements, and vSphere requirements. It also talks about sizing the VROps vApp and the nodes such as master node, replica node, data node, and remote controller node. So I'll put a link in the description for the deployment guide. All right, so let me show you how you deploy VROps. All right, so let me type in the IP address of my vCenter server. I will log into vSphere HTML5 client. All right, I will click on hosts and clusters. And you can see I only have one data center and two HA clusters. So I'm going to deploy this VROps vApp on my management cluster. So I'm gonna right click on management cluster and I will select deploy OVF template. In the deploy OVF template screen, I will select local file and locate the OVA file for VROps 7.0 which I've already downloaded from the VMware portal. So I'll select that and I will click open. I'll click on next. I will give a name for the virtual machine. I'll name this as VROps01. And I will select the folder location for the virtual machine and I'll click next. I'll select my management cluster and I'll click next. Now just wait for some time till it validates the OVA file. Okay, you can review the details of the OVA file and click next. Click I accept all license agreements and click next. For the configuration type, I will select small and you can see the small deployment can monitor up to 3500 VMs, which requires four vCPUs and 16 gig of memory for this vApp. So I'm gonna click next. I'll select the data store and the virtual disk format and I'll click next. I will select my management DC01 port group and I'll click next. In the customized template, I will keep the time zone as ETC or UTC, which is fine with me. I'm not using IPv6, so I'll skip that. Under networking properties, I will specify the default gateway, which is 192.168.10.254 and the domain name contoso.local. The domain search path is also contoso.local and the domain name servers, which is my DNS server, 192.168.10.1 and the network IP address for this vApp, which is 192.168.10.16. So this will be the IP address for VROps and the subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0. I will click next. Okay, you can review the configuration and click finish to begin the deployment. All right, so you can see the OVF template deployment has begun. It'll take some time to finish the deployment of the vApp. And you can see it has already created a VM. So we'll wait for some time until the deployment has finished. Okay, the deployment has completed. So I'm going to power on this VR ops. All right. In the second part, I'm going to show you how to configure VROps once it has been deployed. 